Eric Swallow, windy day up at the high school and spring is kind of wrapping up, right? It's always windy up here, but uh, yeah, the, the spring program is uh, about a week from conclusion and uh, we've had a lot of teams have success. Uh, uh, currently, uh, the softball team is 19-0. and uh, They've got one more game, which will be their last game, which will be senior day, and that'll be coming up next week. Uh, they've had a great season, uh, highly consistent, and they're currently ranked number one in the state. Uh, baseball has righted itself. They're currently 13 and four, and they're shaping up and getting to getting forward to making a stretch run to get into the tournament and hopefully get a higher seed. Our tennis programs have been exceptional. Our girls are currently, uh, I think, they're 14 and one, and the boys are 15 and 0. So both programs have had great seasons, uh, projecting themselves well within the CCC as well as they're going to project themselves well for the upcoming tournament. Uh, also on a note, Tony Morrow, who is the boys tennis coach, he, he got his 100th win last week. So that's always a great, great uh, honor and a great way to recognize because coaching in the 21st century is very different. Our lacrosse programs, our boys lacrosse program is, is young. They've had a developmental season. Uh, our girls program is currently in a position where if they can win their last three games, they'll qualify for the uh, for the state tournament uh, in this in the girls CISC class L level uh, our track programs our track programs are have done exceptionally well uh, on the boys side and on the girls side our participation numbers are up our, our qualifi qualifiers for the state uh, open uh, competition as well as we we now have uh, seven or eight uh, athletes that have qualified for the national championships which are going to be held down in Greensboro North Carolina so all in all the uh, the spring season, and you can tell by the number of sports that we have, uh, have gone well. Our golf program has done exceptionally well, <coughs> excuse me, up to this point. Now, they're getting ready to make a stretch run uh, for the uh, CIC State Tournament, and they're currently ranked eighth in the CIC ranking. So, uh, a great spring, and we're getting for looking forward now to the tournament play. Let me ask you about national rankings, how well our <laughs> softball team is doing. Uh, what makes a team number one? What do they base a national ranking on? Because I know they are ranked nationally. I think a lot of the <clears throat> those type of uh, rankings, I know softball currently is ranked in the top 50 uh, in the United States, I think through Max Preps. Uh, those are uh, media outlets or media sources that basically look at the country uh, on a, on a on a, on a full full uh, national scope <coughs> and they identify top programs in each specific region of the country and obviously Southington currently we're on a over a 60 game winning streak uh, and that in itself those kind of uh, uh, statistics draw attention to your program the fact that they're a two-time defending state champion uh, basically draws um, notoriety and that's uh, how they get themselves in that position also currently a lot of the girls in softball in particular are playing outside of the high school and they get a lot of national recognition uh, and currently our number one pitcher Kendra Freet she's going to be attending Boston College so it sort of falls all into play and it's sort of a network that's out there but uh, the softball program has been recognized nationally.